Hello, my precarious pan champs. Welcome to the show. My name is Ethan, a.k.a. Swan Dizzle, a.k.a. Ethan. We did the snow challenge. <laughs> what was it again? We went down the slopes. We, Yeah, the snow slope run. That's what we're going to call it. And we passed with flying colors. So, uh, you know, we got to ask ourselves, do you want to face the Sub-Zero Shredder himself, Gym Leader Grusha? And by golly, we do. And very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Let's hit it! I assume... Well, not assume... Well, yeah, it was Ice-type from the get-go. I'm pretty sure that's how it was advertised. And there's a Citadel. Oh, it's weird when you start moving your arms. And they're not like fins. Whoa, look at the graphics on that fuzzy sweater. There you are. Brr, I'm freezing. I take it you're a challenger. Oh, yeah, that gym song. Do. Ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba. My name's Grusha. I'm a snowboarder. Used to be a pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. I saw you on the slopes. Your skills, yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't let that go to your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Actually, yeah, there's been like a lot of deaths uh, from like avalanches in the last couple of weeks, like over in British Columbia. Uh, same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Today is not a great day to face me, you know. You're better off giving up. Are you sure you want to battle me? Uh, yeah, um, um, no, um, uh, nice. Backing off takes its own kind of courage, but I know your type. You always choose to push forward in the end. Well, this is my job now, so don't take what I'm about to do personally. Okay, let's give her. Clap, 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 clap. Get ready to feel the icy bite of reality. You are challenged by gym leader Grusha. All right. Show me what you got, Frostmoth. Oh yeah, what are the levels here? Don't say I didn't warn you. Not my fault if you get overwhelmed. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do like one Rage Fist and then if that doesn't do like wonders, we're probably gonna back out. Yeah, okay. Cause I do not want my buddy dying. Yeah, okay. Well, let's uh, swap out the troops. You're in charge, Manchi. Whoa. That, like... His head was really, like... Uh... <laughs> 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 watching too much JoJo. <laughs> wow. Alright, Frostmoth is down. Who's next? Bear Tick. Well, we're gonna keep our current Pokemon. Thank you very much. And you know, Torch Song is just the gift that keeps on giving. That special attack boost. And you just keep doing it. It doesn't stop. Awesome. Please tell me you have like one more. The Tailwind petered out, yeah. The Titan. The big son of a gun. Okay, they have four Pokemon, so there's one more after this. Because it's quick maps. Nice try, buddy. Altaria, you're not Ice type, are you? You're not just talk, I see, but you're still one false step from a steep fall. I think, well, I, if I remember right, Altaria knows 
like ice beam. So maybe that's maybe that's it. Battles are like mountains in the winter. The situation can change in heartbeat. We get it. You've talked about it. every second word is about avalanches, man. It's okay. So this gonna be ice terror type. Yeah. So then torch song will be good, right? That's how that works. I like the little headband though. That's cute. Yeah, you played yourself. Congratulations. Ba -da -da -da. Uh, da -da -da -da. Wah, and you melted straight through my ice. Yaw. Sure did. <gasps> Thrasher is evolving? We did that many punches? Yay! Oh, he is scary. Congratulations, your Thrasher evolved into Annihilate. 160, Annihilate, the Rage Monkey Pokemon. Fighting in Ghost Type, it imbues its fist with the power of the rage that it kept hidden in its heart. Opponents struck by these imbued fists will be shattered to their core. Ah, scary. And another one. Sure. You know what? Why not? Or maybe not. Uh, the more times the user has been hit by attacks, the greater the moon's power. Uh, actually, no, I take it back. Rage Fist is better than Shadow Punch, right? And if I'm wrong, somebody please let me know in the comments. That burning passion you have, you strive for the future no matter what challenges you face. Just like how I used to be. Oh, never mind. I should give you your gym badge. Huh? You want a photo together to commemorate your win? Come on, that's, that's so uncool. I usually don't do that sort of thing, but okay, fine. Special occasion. <laughs> nice. With five gym badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon up to level 45 more easily. They'll actually listen to you too, which is nice. Oh, and before I forget, you should take this too. You obtained TM124 Ice Spinner. User covers its feet in thin ice and twirls around, slamming into the target. Oh, also destroys the terrain. Okay. How does that work? Uh, should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. Does that mean it can get rid of, like, like the like poison spikes and stuff? Anyway, feel free to stop by again, if you don't mind the cold that is. Where are you going? I didn't see, like, a village nearby. Is there? Uh, I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gita, another gym leader defeated. Well done. Rika informed me that there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. It seems she'd meant you. I guessed as much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed using the same move over and over and over again with the correct typing matching up. If you manage to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank, I will be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League. And hey, hey, Swad Dizzle, I got my team all picked out. And I saw you battling the gym leader. You just keep getting better. How good to see you again, champion Maunya. It's certainly been a while. Whoa, wait. La Prima with Swan Dizzle? Oh my god. Why you call her that? Wait, did I forget to give you a full explanation? Everyone calls Miss Gita La Prima because she's just... She's the real number one. Even higher than us champions. She's the top champion. Oh my god, what is going on? There's a there's champions and top champions. And I do indeed hold that claim alongside my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. I thought you were too busy to spend your time checking in on gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I've come here to uh, inspect this man over here. Okay. Uh, whoa, I look away for one second and you're famous, Swan Dizzle. But hey, I found Swan Dizzle first. You may be La Primera, per, Perma, per, Pura, Prima, Primera. But you can't go stealing him from me. Haha, <laughs> I suppose I'll have to get in line. Whoa, that's right. Come on, Swan Dizzle. Time for our battle. Let's freaking go! 
Battlefield's calling. One moment. I would very much like to observe this match, if that's all right. Oh, pressure's on. Totally fine by me. Sounds fun, right, Swan Dizzle? Yeah. AKA Ethan, AKA Swan Dizzle. Thank you kindly. I'm already excited to see you two face off. Sweet. Let's be on our way then. What did I get myself into? Are my Pokemon healed? I hope so. That's some pre-battle hydration, fellas. You remember how all how it all works, right? Once you get badges from all the gyms, you get to throw down against the strongest trainers around. Yes, you must face the Pokemon League. It is located in the northwest of Mezagoza. Oh, mamma mia. The Pokemon Tr League is where trainers are reborn as champions. The greatest honor that they might dream of. Collecting eight gym badges sets you up to take the champion assessment. If you can face the challenge of the final examiner and win, you'll become a champion. Just imagine how that would feel. Try getting to the ch into that champion mindset, that Sigma grind. Uh, now set your sights on reaching that big, important stage, and let's... Excuse me one moment. I believe Swan... Oh, see? Good, good. See? I noticed. I was worried. So thank you, La Prima... Prima Donna. Okay, Swan Dizzle, aka Ethan, aka Swan Dizzle. Time to put our game faces back on. Let us have a fruitful banana. I mean, battle. Let's go. Her theme's kind of cute. Like and rock. Well, prepare to get Annihil aped. Just stay cool. Yeah, keep talking to yourself. Oh, that is pretty good. Do it again, buddy. Annihilate them. Yes. His roar sounds like his bones are snapping. All right. Thank you, Thrasher. Let's go. Manchi boy. It's Goomy. Goomy, Goomy. Got him. Got him, Goomy. Got a got Goomy good. It's a pomo. Whammo pomo. I should do a video on the like the recent gen Pokemon names. Cause what does pomo mean? Like paw, I get it. But what what's the mo? Meow Cascarda. I'm getting back right into a corner, so let me use my grass type against your way overpowered fire type. Yeah. Alright, you clown. Let's go. Time to terrestrialize. I'm gonna make the Primaz eyes light up. Sounds like there's like recoil behind that. <laughs> Watch your shoulders. One shot, one shot. Yeah, buddy. All that fanfare for nothing. Oof, oof. Well, that was a good one. You really had some zing to it. Ripperinos. Defeated trainer. People are going to start paying more and more attention to you. I just know it. <laughs> just the slow clap. 
Thank you. Uh, an amazed dis amazing display of talent, even against one as skilled as champion Nimona. I, uh, that was a splendid match, and I enjoyed watching it very much. Now even La Prima. Let's do this again. La Prima. La Prim... La Prima. La Prim... Primera. La Primera. I'm going to do that one. Now even La Primera thinks that you're one to watch. You've got so much potential. The way you're going, I better watch my back. You know, since the first time we met, I've been weirdly sure of one thing. You're going to become a champion. No doubt about it, Swan Dizzle, a.k.a. Ethan, a.k.a. Swan Dizzle. The rest of these gyms, you can take them. 100% no problem. I agree. In fact, you should take this. Consider it an investment in your future. Ooh, Terra Blast. I think we got one from a code before, but that's good. She shows you such support and friendship, or perhaps she hopes you truly might rival her. Yeah, I don't know. She's kind of weird. Uh, no, I think it's no mere hope. She seems to have complete faith that you will catch up to her. At any rate, allow me to return you to the gym where I found you. It's not that far away. It's literally right outside. Where? How do? You, are you picking? Do I get a piggyback? Like, okay. Well, there we go. Sweet. So let's. Uh, can we get our ultra balls? Finally. Let's take a look, shall we? Do boop 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 boop. I'd like to buy. Oh, thank goodness, baby. We got Ultra Balls on deck. Yeah. I'm excited. Though, you know, is that true when we get the gym badge? It's not It's not just, like, uh, Pokemon, like, listen to you and you, bat, like, you know, use them, but also, like, they're easier to catch? Did they, they said that, right? That they're easier to catch. Well, I sure hope that's true, because maybe we will avoid incidents like that stupid Vaporeon thing from uh, a couple episodes back. Check that out. That was a gong show and a half. But let's try and use up our Great Balls, I guess. Unless there's something like super rare we just want. That's a Sneasel. Hello, Sneasel. Uh, okay. Well. Well. This is, yeah, we've been kind of going in a circle, right? Poison crew. Okay. Anything up here? We did that. I don't know what's up there, but for funsies, let's check it out. And then we'll go back down to this da. Dalizappa Passage, and then probably make it to the Poison Crew base. How's that sound? Awesome. Okay. In the wise words of Ariana Grande. Okay, let's go. Don't one shot, don't one shot, don't one shot. You can do it, you can do it. Don't watch it. Yeah, buddy. All right. I'm just, I just, I know I said we're going to use up the great balls, but I just want to see this work. Oh, baby, that's good. That's good. Cryogonal number 360, the crystallizing Pokemon ice type. Cryogonal uses its chains of ice to constrict its opponents and then flash freezes them where they stand. Wow, that is scary. We're going to call you special because you are a snowflake. Uh... There we go. Into the box, you go. Wow. Another one. Wow, look, our Pokedex is filling up. It's looking pretty good. And we gotta get our surprise trade on the way. 
And I think special is our next contestant. Cub Chew. Do we have a crab abdominal blow blow blow? Do I have you? Ooh, not yet. Okay. Punch him. Okay, we could do like two more. Don't want to kill him with the low kick, so take my chances. Slamming. Doesn't affect me, baby. That's good typing. That's pretty pretty slick. If I do say so myself. Everything's coming up, Swan Dizzle, baby. Loving it. Uh no, we don't need Screech. That's okay. Even more scary for this like undead primate scary ghost punches to screech at you. Number 119, Crabominable. The woolly crab Pokemon. Woolly crab. Uh, fighting an ice type. Through its punches, uh, though it, sorry, can't read. Though its punches are powerful, this Pokemon's movements are sluggish. It blows icy bubbles from its mouth to immobilize its opponents. Yes. Uh, I just want to call you Crabbo. And into the box you go. And another one. Do we have a Snom? Do we have Snom? Please confirm. We do not have Snom. Let's get Snom. Oops. My bad. I guess let's not get Snom. We, uh, I think we need some more... Uh, what is it called again? False Swipe? That's what we need, some False Swipe in our life here for a little baby, baby Snom. I think because it's just small, its HP is so low. Pokeball, go! God, everything is easier. Why wasn't I doing that before? That should have been the priority. You do all the gyms first, and then it's easy to catch all the Pokemon. Number 350, Snom, the worm Pokemon. I feel like there's a few worm Pokemon. Ice and bug type. Within its internal organs, Snom amplifies the frigid air it gets from eating snow and then uses this amplified air to create icicle-like spikes. Ooh. That's good. I just caught a little worm, a little ice worm. Named, his name is Snom. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah! Snommer. There we go. And another one. I sense there is someone we can battle at the bottom of this hill. Careful one you there, young one. How did your hair stand up like that? Is it the ice? Uh, you ought to be careful. There's no shortage of strong trainers in these parts. Okay. Anna the Dragon Tamer. What are you doing out here? Even Cub Chew sweating. That dragon air, like it ain't no thing. That's a big deal. But you know what we got? The old skittish mix, see? <laughs> wow, that was more powerful than I thought it was. And that was it. All right. I suppose none of the other trainers were as strong as you. Sick. Anything else cool over here? 
Ooh, some deerling and some saws book. And yeah, we got those crabs. We got the snoms. Yeah, I think we got them. Oh, a revive. That's good. Oh, you know, we got to try that quick battle thing. Awesome. Yeah, that's something we really should have been doing earlier. Man, he's just a machine. Look at him go. Did you guys know about this feature? I'm sure you did. I just forgot it existed. There's nothing, nothing will stop this man. Wow. You too. Get him. Give him the old skittish smack. Wow. That's nuts. Yeah, bergmites and frostlass and cub chews and setottles and bronzongs. Very good. Revives. Deli bird. Did we catch a deli bird? I think we killed one once, but did we catch it? We did. Okay, goodbye. Can we streamline this process by doing this? Awesome. Uh, Sneasel. Yeah. That's a Glassito Gym. Yep. Snom. He's so small. Bronzong. Snom, Snom. Cub Chew. They're, just, they're seriously all just chilling out here. I like it. Okay, let's make it to the top of the mountain before we just glide off like a baller to our northern destination. Whoa! Hey, buddy! What are you doing up here? This guy's supposed to evolve into something pretty cool, I heard. Arctabax. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Surely they did, right? Like, you put, like, kind of a rarer Pokemon. Like, pseudo-legendary Dragon Boy at the top of the mountain. That's, that's cool. That's, like, that encourages exploration, right? Ooh, what's gonna be over there? And it was worth it, baby. Ooh. Arg. I can probably do one more false well, actually we could do as many false swipes as we want. Ooh, ouch. I think you deserve an ultra ball, my friend. Now stay in the ball. Thank you. Arc to backs was cut. Dragon and ice. That's good typing, right? Wow. Okay. So number 389, Arc to backs, the ice fin Pokemon, dragon and ice type. It attacks with the blade of its frozen dorsal fin by doing a front flip in the air. Wow. Artabac's strong back and legs allow it to pull off this technique. Yeah, okay. I had a good name and then I completely blanked. Uh, da, da, da. I got it. Best name. We're going to call you Frosty. Stay frosty. Another one. We'll probably add him to our to our team at some point. Probably. Big nugget. Woo woo. Any other cool dragon friends at the top of this hill? You said it's open world, so we're gonna test that, Nintendo. 
Come on. Yep. Keep her going. Keep her going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. Paldea's highest peak. One of the ten sites of Paldea. And a gimme ghoul coin. It's too bad the draw distance uh, isn't, like, good enough to see, like, everything going on, but that's okay. All right, let's uh, go. I want to fly, get away. I want to fly away. Ba -na -na -na. You thought I was going to do I Can Believe I Can Fly, but I did that once and I got a copyright strike, so we ain't going to go there. Oh, ran over a snom. No, it's a dog. Not a snom. Goodbye. Sorry, pupper. Not today. Got you. Oh yeah, let's just keep it going. Do 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 do. I think like it lets you glide for a little bit, and then the game is like, "All right, you're done. You're done," <laughs> and it just sends you right down. Well, what's hiding in here? Ooh, a gibbite. All right. And who are you? Ooh, Glaceon. We have one. Maybe next time. How far is that waypoint I said? Oh, wow. I'm not going to test it right now, but I don't think there's fall damage in this one like uh, Legends Arceus, is there? Doesn't look like it. Gold ducks. Hello, gold ducks. Ether, you say ether, and I say ether. Ah, uh, tink, tink a tank, tink a tough. Oh, he's roaring. Okay, we got you. I think we did a terror raid with Gideon and got some there. Ooh. Halucha, did we ever. We got you, right? I remember we were struggling. We killed them all off. Yeah, we got you. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Excellent. Just a quick little scan. We got Dragon Tail. That's pretty cool. Got some Knackle. Yeah, rocks on rocks, man. That checks out. Maridon's struggling just a bit. <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. I think we're good for what's over here. Yeah, more or less, that was where the waypoint was. So let's go back down to Dali Zappa Passage. We're going to set that as our destination. Let us check out our surprise trade before we end today's episode, shall we? Goodbye, special. My little special boy. Ooh! A sprigatito. Meow. 
Pauscha. Pauscha. Number one, Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. It's grass type. The sweet scent of its body gives off mesmer... Oh, sorry. I can't read. God. The sweet scent its body gives off mesmerizes those around it. The sweet scent grows stronger when this Pokemon is in the sun. And another one. Nice. You know what? Uh... No, nah, JK. I was like, let's add you to the party. I'm like, not yet, not yet, not yet. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye. Hey, Ethan. You are the greatest Pokemon master in the world! <laughs> <laughs>